This is a quick video on engaging and disengaging your front wheel assist on your in flight tractor. Basically, where you can see the T handle there, it is in the two wheel drive position. Uh, basically, reach down, pull up, and you're in your four wheel drive position. Uh, basically, there's a key point I like to tell people to engage this whilst the tractor is actually moving and ensure that it does come up to the correct position. Um, you should have a play and a learn of how to engage and disengage correctly um, before you actually really start using it and start needing to use it. For example, if you're in two-wheel drive and you pull it up a little bit now whilst the tractor's not running and you're not moving, you might say, oh, you look, it's come up, it's engaged. But you've got to think, it's only half engaged there, so you're half hanging on the sides of the teeth, uh, which can cause problems down the track if you really start using the front end loader heavily or something like that. You've only got 50% engagement, so you've you've only got 50% the teeth touching, so basically there's a weak point there and it can allow something to break down the track. If you engage whilst it's running and you're driving, you'll actually really feel the difference. You can see how much further that comes up now. That's where it should be. So you will really feel that um, as a different point whilst engaging, whilst driving. To disengage, realistically, push it down with your hand or put slip your heel across and push it down. If it won't go down, if you turn a little bit left and right on the steering wheel, it just evens up the ratios between front and rear, and that will help you to pop it out. Thank you.